take three hundred. <laughs> uh. Okay. Thank you all for your very supportive comments. Hi, Jessica. <laughs> Thank you all for your very supportive comments. So not only did my internet crash, but my computer decided to restart itself, um, which meant I had to go back to the initial, uh, the last second chance that I had, because I hadn't saved, which was from the roller coaster. I don't think we lost too much progress, but we definitely lost a little bit. So gosh, this is just like all the technology issues today. Oy vey. It's hopefully back, Cheddar Chip. Fingers crossed. Hi, Maria. <laughs> I'm hoping. Should we really test it out and talk to Ingrid and see if her new agey vibes Hello, Nancy. How destroy goes it? my internet? How well do you know Elliot Chen? Not very. But I've noticed he has a very strange aura. Very dark around the edges. Odd for an artist. But then, it's nowhere near as dark as Joy's. Her aura's a mess. Why do you think that is? She's hiding something. And she's hiding from something. Something very big and very dark. Plus, she eats way too many carbs. <laughs> to say nothing of pencils. Yes, Maria, my internet is haunted, just like the carousel. I got your soldering gun from Elliot and fixed that card reader. Does he borrow your tools a lot? Very rarely. He's not exactly a mechanical genius. Thanks for your help. No big deal. Okay, I'm leaving you now, Ingrid. I don't trust you. <laughs> and Joy did it too. Joy destroyed my internet too. Need something? Do you by any chance know how to read shorthand? Sorry, sure don't. Do you ever talk to the other people who are working during the shutdown? I'm not very good at socializing. I couldn't even tell you what any of them look like, quite frankly. I go to work. I work, I go home. That's pretty much my life. Someone activated the roller coaster while I was standing on the tracks just now. I barely managed to escape. Really? Are you sure it was on purpose? Maybe you accidentally tripped a switch or something. It was no accident. Does this pencil I found by the tracks look familiar? That looks like one of mine. But I didn't leave it there. I mean, just because you found one of my pencils, that hardly proves I'm guilty of something. Joy! While you were gone, the Nancy Drew entity came in here and snooped. You were snooping around in here? Well, I was leaving you a note. You know, to call Elliot. An analysis of sensory input shows that the Nancy Drew entity entered the immediate area during your absence and exhibited non-random seeking behavior. All right, I was snooping. And now if you don't mind answering a question from me, what is that? My father was a frustrated inventor. After he died, I discovered that in his study. In his will, he said he made it just for me. I don't have room in my apartment, so I brought him here. I keep him covered when I know I'm going to have company. As you noticed, he can be kind of a blabbermouth. The word blabbermouth is without meaning to Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. Why does he call himself the Magnificent Memory Machine? My father said he invented Miles in order to reacquaint me with my childhood. It always bothered him that I was never as happy-go-lucky as he was. What am I, Miles? Joy Trent is a party-pooping stick in the mud. So my father programmed him with a bunch of riddles designed to reconnect me with long-lost memories from my childhood. What a wonderful gift! I don't see it that way at all. I don't want to relive my childhood. My mother died when I was four. My mother died when I was really young, too. Maybe I could help you. I should be mad that you were snooping around in here. But the truth is... I think it's neat that you're so gutsy, especially since I'm so not gutsy. Oh, what the heck? Okay, Miles, let's hear the first riddle. Here is the first riddle. Listen carefully. To be told a truth long since put away, 
Bring me the silvery remains of a four-bit day. I have no idea what he's talking about. I knew it would be a waste of time. Don't give up yet. Maybe I'll turn up something in the course of my investigation. Do what you want, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. Okay, both Joy and Miles and Ingrid use their powers to mess up my internet. Didn't I tell you that Ingrid freaks me out? She has powers, Jessica. <laughs> she has magic powers that she uses to disrupt the internet with her aura. Miles is a snitch. He totally is a snitch. Oh my goodness. I'm so stressed out. <laughs> um, well, now we need to do the Midway games again because, um, yeah, the game didn't save when my computer decided to restart itself, so we get to play the games again. You're about to play Swimmer's Itch! You have three fun credits left on your card. Your mission is to get the swimmer to the beach. Klatskis. Klatsky puzzle. At least these are fun. Okay, one swimmer out. Two swimmers out. Hmm. Uh oh. I managed to get this one the first time. Aha, here we go. one again. Time to play Squid Toss! In case you were wondering, you have two fun credits left on your card. Catapult the squid through the hoop. Catapult the squid through the hoop. Well, at least I know what to do now, so I won't um, lose a fun credit. Someone told uh -oh. me that the Looks like it's out of order. The book is actually in the back of the machine, which they're totally right. I had completely forgotten about that. So I think it's if we talk to Ingrid about it, which means we have to go talk to Ingrid. Hi Demon Slayer! <laughs> Welcome to part hmm. three of attempting to stream Haunted Carousel. Because Ingrid curses the internet. Into not working going to be saving more from now on. Save. Okay, uh... Do we dare go talk to Ingrid? Hello? Hi, Nancy. KJ Paris. I got some preliminary info on that jewel thief. You know Chaz Dunning? Great, let's hear it. Okay. Before he died, he got to be real good buddies with his cellmate at New Jersey State Prison. And his cellmate was paroled less than two months ago. Do you know the guy's name? Well, apparently he's used a lot of aliases. The guy I talked to wasn't sure which name he was released under, but he did give me a description. Dark hair, medium build, clean shaven, heavy Jersey accent. Like I said, I'm still in the process of making calls. I just thought I'd let you know what I had so far. Thanks, Detective. You've been a big help. Aw, uh, sorry, Demon Slayer, about the time zones. Yeah, I've been having a little bit of extra trouble today. Ingrid has been it's really locked. good at... Um, it's locked. Oh, and she's gone. At cursing the internet for us with her, with her aura. Oh, Harlan's gone too. Okay. 
So Harlan's um, locker code is right here, 011190. And we can look at a few other things. We can try and find a video. Let's do that. Let's snoop through his locker. What was it? 101190? Oh, weird. I don't have that written down. And I didn't just memorize it right now. It's some kind of log from yesterday's stream. Exactly. Fancy. 101190. Okay. Okay. One, zero, one, one, nine, zero. Up here we have Harlan's appointments. Louis G. Wonder who that is. Best way to find out is to call him. His journal is so dirty. This would drive me insane. Two for one at Bonanza Burger. So we are gonna call this Louis G person. And then we have this tape that we can look at. What's this? Oh, Harlan is snooping on Ingrid. It looks like Harlan's Zero, been spying seven, on Ingrid. Two, six. Aha. I better put this back where I found it. We better, yes, yeah, so he doesn't know that we have it. That's honestly pretty impressive, snooping, though. Nancy is probably very proud of Harlan and his snooping skills. So now we have the code to get in to Ingrid's office. Is it still locked? It's locked. Uh, what was it? 0726? I think. 0726. Yep. Someone does need to watch Ingrid. We don't trust her. Call LH about results. L H. Lance Huffington, maybe? Okay, so now we have to call this Lewis person and this Lance person. We gotta call the L peoples. What do we have here? Ooh. Wow, that's a fancy watch. Wow, that's one expensive watch. Holy moly. That's a really fancy watch. For real, would anyone ever spend $20,000 on a watch? Especially somebody who's, like, so concerned about, like, what you put in your body and what and probably, like, what you wear on your body, too? Sheesh, Ingrid. 20 grand? Let's maybe go to our hotel and make some of these calls that we need to make. Mm -hmm. State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office. I'm sorry, what did you say? I said, State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office. Is Mr. Guerra a parole officer? That's correct, but he's out of the office right now. Would you like to leave a message? Maybe you can help me. Do you know if he has a client named Harlan Bishop? Yes, he does. Is Harlan up to something he shouldn't be? I'm not sure yet. Would you happen to know what prison he was in? You're going to have to wait and ask Mr. Guerra that question. What was the name? Nancy Drew. My number is 523-555-4399. That's my cell phone. He can call me anytime. I'll let him know. Thank you. <laughs> Jessica burned down the hotel. <laughs> Will that help your hiccups go away? I'll do it just for your hiccups. Organic gold watch. Exactly, Maria. This is the first Nancy Drew game I ever played. It came as a pack deal with Deception Isle from a ki kid scholastic order. That's how I actually got a lot of my games, too, is from the scholastic orders. That's amazing. Don't 
Talk to me. Yes, hi. Um, is this Lance Huffington? You betcha. Who's this? Well, I'm Nancy Drew. I work with Ingrid Corey. I'm kind of her unofficial assistant here at the park. She tells me everything. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was wondering if she'd called you yet. You know, about the results? Yeah, she called me. So, is everything okay? Everything's great. Her plan worked. I'm glad she shared it with me. Life's good. <laughs> At least it will be when the trial's over and the settlement's in the bank. Whoa, speaking of which, I gotta go. I'm due in court. What'd you say your name was? Uh, Nancy. Well, Nancy, next time you call me, you could very well be talking to a multi-millionaire. Ta-ta. Bye. You sound shady, Lance. I don't think I trust you. Okay, I'll burn down the hotel just for you, Jessica. Nancy's very accident prone in this one. I need to turn the iron on. <laughs> Bye, iron. Have fun. Exploding. <laughs> now where do we go to burn down the hotel? Um, We haven't talked to Elliot in a while. Oh, my mouse. Hello? This is Paula Santos. I'm standing outside what's left of the Captain's Quarters Hotel. What happened? Well, according to the fire marshal, someone left an iron on in your room and burned the place down. Oh no, I forgot to turn it off. When I asked you to come out here, I expected to pay for your room, not the entire hotel. Consider yourself off the case. Ooh, whoops. <laughs> okay. Let's make sure the iron is off. There we go. I wish there was a visual for that. Like, I wish we could actually see the place burning down. That sounded morbid, but you know what I mean. For me, Danger by Design and Creature of Kapu Cave came together. Yes. I remember being... And he fits the description of the jewel thief cellmate that Detective Paris gave me. Oh, now that's disturbing. But I'm still going to give Harlan the benefit of the doubt until I have good reason not to. I appreciate your bringing this to my attention, though. All right. Goodbye, Paula. Four bit would mean worth two quarters. Quarters. Captain's quarters, maybe? What about the word day? Cap Good morning, hound dog. Yeah, on the weekends, uh, it's it's easier for me to do the streams early in the morning. How far in the game are we? I'd say we're about midway, if we can get the game to keep going. <laughs> you are all being remarkably patient with me and my struggles. Would it be okay if I took some tape? It might come in handy. Help yourself. Maybe you should try Twitch. Yeah, when I... I didn't have too many breakup issues when it was on Twitch. I don't know if it's that or what. I know a lot more people are able to join when it's on YouTube. I think for future streams, I'm going to have to look into um, fixing my internet because I hate doing this to you guys and breaking out like this so frequently. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? Any advice on how to go about fixing the Midway game that's broken? It needs to be reprogrammed. Open up the back. Should be some instructions on the clipboard. Check that handbook I gave you if they're too cryptic for you. But you'll also need the plug-in keyboard.
because you seem to have a lot of money, far more than the park pays you. I can't help but wonder where it's coming from. All right. I have been making money on the side, but it's not what you think. I've been helping someone design a roller coaster. I even let him borrow the blueprints for our coaster so he could study them, not steal them. I kept it secret because it could be construed as conflict of interest. This guy knows I'm taking a risk, so he pays me very well. Now, your turn. It's obvious that you've been nosing around in here. How did you get in? Someone made a tape of you entering your security code into the keypad outside, which I just happened to see. Harlan. I knew it bugged him that this place was off limits, but spying on me? That guy's got a real problem. As for you, I'd appreciate it if you would kindly remove your nice and deficient little self from my office. I don't know what to do. <laughs> we kind of need to talk to Ingrid to make it through the game. Ugh. Fine day, Sunday. Best day of the week, in my opinion. Why is that, Dudley? Because there's no internet on Sundays? <laughs> right you are, Harry. Gosh, it's so true. Ugh. Yeah, I might, we might need to try later, Jessica, because it works for little bits and pieces, and then it just goes down. And I hate doing that to you guys. You're all so nice about it. So thank you so much for your support. I think I need to look into options for um, improving my connection. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I'll see you around. Have fun. Yes, incomplete name, very bad internet. Very, very bad. Thanks, Jessica. Guess I'm gonna have to call Tink, whoever he is. This looks a little like the inside of my aunt's player piano. So we have to call Tank. That's weird if it always crashes at the same parts. I wonder if this game has a higher CPU usage than the previous games. I wonder too. Yeah, it's always, it seems to be when I talk to characters is usually when it crashes. 